In thinking together about congestive heart failure, we want to know the four different classes that mark congestive heart failure, and then we're going to talk about some of the causes of it and some of the symptoms in recognizing it. So we begin then with class one of congestive heart failure. At this level, a normal physical activity and symptoms, uh, symptoms that go along with um, congestive heart failure produce no limitation in normal physical activity. So we'll say class one, they have congestive heart failure, but there is no limitation in their normal physical activity. Class two, uh, they start to recognize uh, more marked symptoms during normal physical activity. These symptoms would uh, include fatigue, dyspnea, and other symptoms like that. So normal physical activity for class one, there's no limitations whatsoever from the congestive heart failure. Class two, normal physical activity results in fatigue or dyspnea. Class three is marked limitation. In normal physical activity, the uh, symptoms become so pronounced that even normal physical activity becomes almost impossible. And then in class four, basically the symptoms of congestive heart failure are experienced um, with minimal activity and even at rest. This of course being the worst class that uh, they're not doing anything or they're doing very minimal activity. Any activity whatsoever, even resting, they're experiencing the um, the effects of their uh, congestive heart failure. Uh, very serious class here. So class one congestive heart failure, doing normal activity, they might experience some symptoms, but there's no limitation uh, in their normal activities. Class two normal physical activities result in fatigue and dyspnea. Class three strongly marked limitations in their ability to do normal physical activity because of the symptoms. And then class four, they even experience the symptoms when at rest, very serious. Now, when we think about causes of congestive heart failure, we need to think in terms of uh, coronary artery disease, uh, cardiomyopathies, endocarditis, extra cardiac infections, and pulmonary embolus. All of these can lead to uh, congestive heart failure. And some of the symptoms uh, to recognize someone in congestive heart failure would be cold or cyanotic skin, wheezing, mitral valvular deficits, lower extremity edema, uh, pulses, alternans, and hypertension and tachypnea. All of these are uh, symptoms to be noticed going along with congestive heart failure. And I wanna go over those again, just to make sure if you were taking notes, you wanna get these down. So remember the four classes of congestive heart failure, class one, very low level. Uh, there are no limitations that they experience or feel in ordinary physical activity, though they might experience some of the symptoms. No limitations, class two, Regular physical activity leads to fatigue or dyspnea. Class three, very marked limitations in their ability to do normal physical activities because of the symptoms experienced. In class four, they experience the symptoms when at rest or with any activity whatsoever. Causes again, coronary artery disease, cardiomyopathies, valvular heart disease, endocarditis, extra cardiac infection, and pulmonary embolus. Those are causes of congestive heart failure. And then finally, the symptoms uh, indicative of this are cold or cyanotic skin, wheezing, mitral valvular deficits, lower extremity edema, pulses, alternans, uh, hypertension, and tachypnea. If you'd like to learn more about this, read further, then uh, please click on the link below this video and go to that website where you'll find an ebook available for immediate download.